Hi there, and let's get to it. Today we're looking at using audio plugins or VSTs inside of DaVinci Resolve. VST, or Virtual Studio Technology, comes in the form of audio plugins that give you advanced control over your audio in DaVinci Resolve, with controls such as reverb, EQ mastering, compression, and noise reduction. These plugins can be found on the edit page inside of your audio effects tab of the effects library. By default, DaVinci Resolve does not come with any audio effects, and you'll need to source them on your own. The good news is that there are hundreds, or rather thousands of these, available from various companies, third-party developers, and even hobbyists. It's easy to search for VST effects online and find lots of websites and companies that cater to selling either bundles or individual VST effects. Just like video effects, a lot of these come with a price, but there's also quite a substantial amount of these that are available for free. So. You can scroll through and potentially find an effect that describes what you need. You can download it, and it will usually come in a compressed folder, which you can then extract. And inside of that folder, sometimes what you'll find is just a simple collection of DLL files, but in most cases there will be a README file included describing the steps you need to take to install the plugin. In this case, there is no installation guide, but I can show you where it needs to end up in DaVinci Resolve. So we're going to go in the top left corner, click on DaVinci Resolve Preferences, and navigate to the Audio tab. Here's a list of all the effects I currently have, and at the top you can see the folder in which they're all contained. So you could potentially add more folders if you wanted to separate your effects for one reason or another. If you don't have a dedicated folder, you can generate one by clicking Add, and creating a new folder in the location where you want to store your VST plugins. I'm going to open up a new Explorer window, go into Program Files, and enter my VST Plugins folder. And for this, all I have to do is click and drag the DLL file over in order to add it to this list. However, the effect won't be added to my list of VST effects until I restart the software, which is what I'm going to do now. Now I'll navigate to my edit page where I already have an edit on a timeline and I'll reveal that the effect that I just installed has appeared in my audio effects. Audio plugins can be applied either to an individual clip on the timeline or to an entire audio track with all the clips contained within. To add to a clip, all you have to do is click, drag, and drop the VST effect onto it. In the bottom left hand corner, you'll see a symbol indicating that you now have an effect applied to this piece of audio. And if you look in the inspector, underneath the standard volume and pan controls, you will now also have the name of the effect and all of the relevant controls. Just like with the video effects, these controls tend to come with sliders, with numerical inputs, and also with keyframing abilities. At the very far right, we have a reset arrow that can be applied for every individual value or for the entire effect at the top. Just like with the other effects, you can temporarily disable the plugin by clicking on the dot next to the name of the plugin. You can also expand the unique controls for the plugin by clicking on the custom button in the header. To remove the effect, click on the trash bin. To add an audio plugin to an entire audio track, click on the track curve editor symbol under the number of the track and then drag the effect onto the track header. Once again, you'll see the same controls in the inspector, but this time, instead of applying to any individual clip, this will be applicable to every clip uniformly. You can also add plugins to the master track in much the same way. I'm Sophie, sorry I'm late, I had to talk to Chef says the oysters are knockout. I say, speaking of knockout, hello. Oh, what do you do? Uh, I'm in stating. Ah, my pal Monty's in stating. Bloody good one too. Yeah, just give me a cracking deal on a little apartment over cap. In case you've been curious about denoisers or audio noise reduction tools, they would be applied in very much the same way. You'll need to secure the plugin either as a purchase or a download, and then install it on your workstation in order to access it from DaVinci Resolve. I hope you found that helpful. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time.